ready to migrate to Pleasant Valley. Did you know that combined, all ants in the world together were just about as much as all human beings? Oh, I find that fascinating. We have got to meet the moving man. Where's Gunther? Everything packed? I think so, dear. All set here, Dad. Gunther? Gunther? Did you remember to lock the back doors of the U Hall, like I asked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gunther? Andrew? What? Charlie Parker. I live next door. Oh. What a pleasant surprise. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. What's this? Jello. I, I mean, just a little welcome to the neighborhood gift for you and your family from the Parkers. 
Thanks. Well, we have lots of unpacking to do. Okay, I'll introduce the rest of the guys later. Bye. I live next door to Beaver Cleaver. Gunther, pay attention. This is not a toy. I'm listening, Dad. The pool is your responsibility. You must remember to check the chemicals for low chlorine. Then once a week, scrape the algae off. But most importantly, you sweep the leaves out. If they get into the filter, pressure will build up and... Oh, and you have to flush the filter out and add new diatomaceous earth. Gunther, have you heard anything that I've said? Every word, Dad. We've been over this already. Do you need me for anything else? Well, I I'm serious, son. You have got to stay on top of this. Check the chlorine, scrape the algae, sweep the leaves, and if necessary, add diatomaceous earth. Can I go now? Well, where are you off to in such a hurry? You wanted me to interact? I'm gonna go mingle with some natives. Check out the new mall. Andrew, you wanna come? Yeah, sure. Do I have time to put my things away? Sure. Gunther, that was really nice of you. Hey, what are big brothers for? Besides, he still has his allowance. I'm broke. Gunther Wheeler. We just moved in. Into the Johnson house. You're from New York, right? Wow. This town is pretty small. Smaller than you think. Uh, you probably ought to go. Why? Who's this? This is Gunther Wheeler. He just moved into the Johnson house. Gunther, this is Chad, Luke, and Wiley. Right. Don't mind if we do. Sure. Oh, yes. Help yourself. Hey, Gunther! Hey, look, fellas, it's Nerd Herd. Hi, Gunther. This is Henry. Did I give you permission to speak? Well, no, but I thought that I... Hey. Shut up. It's book. <laughs> I gotta get back to work. Come on, just two more pieces. That's it, man. No more. Come on, fish. The more gum, the bigger the bubble. You can do it, fish. What is he doing? Shh. He'll break his concentration. Fish is determined to break a world record. Okay. Now remember your training. Okay, fish. Now you ready? Now remember. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. There you go. Keep going. Four inches. Eight. Nine. Fish, go! You can do it! Ten. Eleven. Whoa. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh, man. Oh, I missed it. How big was it? Tell me. Fourteen inches. That's gotta be a record. I'm afraid not. Greatest reported diameter of a bubblegum bubble under the very strict rules of this highly competitive activity was 23 inches set in 1991. How does he know all that? Fish memorized the book. Guys, I want you to meet the new neighbors, Gunther and Andrew. Hey, guys. Hey. So what's with all this newspaper junk? We're paper boys. Speaking of that, I still don't have anyone to sub for me while I'm gone for the summer. 
Well, I've got a brilliant idea. Got there, why don't you take the route? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Racing down the street, wind in your face, delivering the day's headlines. There's no better feeling in the world. Right, Henry? <clears throat> no, thank you. He's warming up. He shoots. And this is... He scores. Reload. Hey, got there. Got there. Got there. It's me, Charlie. Inside the walkie talkie under your pillow. What? What is this? special of the day. <laughs> You've had five already. Right. Uh, how many flavors do you have? Ten. Okay, I guess I have five more to go then. Okay, it's your stomach. Who do you got in there? Screaming Banshees. Shrieking. Hey, they rock. Shrieking's their best CD yet. Definitely. Definitely. This pool is a disaster. Yeah, they can swim in it, but they can't take care of it. And where is Gunther? He's probably at the mall. That's where he spends most of his time. Since when does Gunther hang out at the mall? Since he found out Allison worked there. Dude, don't do this to me. I gotta see him. Hey, supply and demand. If you want to see the Screaming Banshees, you gotta pay the piper. Hey! Hey, hey! Did you say Screaming Banshees? Yeah, they're coming through town. Hey, dude. I'm sorry, excuse me. Sorry. I'll meet you. Excuse me, young man. Hey, hey! Screaming Banshees are coming to this town. You, uh, wouldn't be interested in some tickets. I'll take them. How much? 150 for the pair. 150 bucks? You guys are crazy. I don't have that kind of cash. Then I guess you ain't going. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Hey, Dad. Hey. You got a minute? Sure, what's on your mind, son? I was hoping that you would find it in your heart to, uh, give me an advance on my allowance. And how much money are we talking about? About 150 bucks. Yeah, we've been down this road before, haven't we, Gunther? And out in the real world, you wouldn't get a dime, but you are my son, and I do love you. I just want you to develop a, a sense of responsibility. I'm probably sending a mixed message, but I'm going to roll with you on this. Dad, you're the greatest! <laughs> oh, 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 
Would that be cash or check? Okay, I'll take that as a no. No credit. No payment plans. I want my money. Oh, one hundred and seventy-five dollars of it. I only owe you one hundred and fifty. That wasn't counting interest. Oh, I never agreed to that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Just give me my money. All I need is an extension, okay? A little time to get my finances in order, and you'll get your money. I promise. I'm gonna give you a break because you're new in town, and because I'm feeling charitable today. Just remember, extensions don't last forever. I'm about to sink to an all-time low. Charlie, it's Gunther. Can you hear me? Charlie, it's Gunther. Do you read? Hey, Gunther, you're used to walking. Now listen, do you remember when you asked me if I would take over Leonard's paper out? Yeah. Yeah, well, is it still available? Sure is. I'll take it. You will. All summer? Yeah. Wow, that's great! You got a bike? No. Not a problem. You can use Leonard's. I'll have them leave it in your driveway. Meet me at Fish's house 5.30 tomorrow morning and I'll show you the ropes. Over and out, neighbor. Gunther, ready? The only thing I'm ready for is another four hours of sleep. Did you know there are people with this extremely rare condition known as chronic cholecystitis that can go without sleep for up to five years? Thank you for that useless piece of trivia. No problem whatsoever. Here's your saddlebag, Gunther. Hook it to your handlebars like this, and then load up. Gus, you're late again. I'm sorry. Gus, 
We offer a vital service to this community. The paper is their main source of news and other information. F from the weather to today's headlines, even the astrological forecast. It's up to us to deliver. And on time. Sorry. <sighs> Oh, Gunther, the map for your route. The address with the X's show which house you deliver to. Oh, yeah, um, I hear you. Leonard wanted me to give you this note. Some valuable tips to help. You really want to help? Deliver my papers. <laughs> Let's ride, boys. How hard can it be to toss a few papers? Morning, Mr. Peterson! Hi. 
Can you tell me where Mapleton Street is? Very close. Mapleton Street, next street over. Right, right behind this house, right there. Just uh, right past this yard, okay? Oh, but you can't go through here. You have to go all the way around the block. Yeah, I tell you how to get there. Uh, go back this way, make a right, 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 right. That's wrong. That's four rights. You'd be back where you start from. No, uh, just, just go back around the block, and when you stop, uh, that's Mapleton Street, okay? Over there. Got? Yeah? Okay, why can't I just cut through here? No. Oh, you're not from around here, huh? No, no, no. See that house? That's a crazy man Cooper house. He's crazy. He don't... How do you say? Ah, la, la, la. He, uh, he step on one too many landmines, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not good. He don't let anybody go to his yard, so you must go back around this way or, or go this way. Uh, this way faster, I think, if you run faster, okay? Good. Okay, look, I don't think I'm going to hurt anything. Why don't I just walk through? Okay, you don't want to listen to me. I'm just a milkman. Uh, it's your funeral. You do what you want. I got to go deliver milk. Here I go to the... <laughs> Well, where's Leonard? Uh, he's gone for the summer. I'll be your paper boy. But you just said... No, no, that... Then I'm sorry. That the paper was late. Please extend my deepest apologies to your folks. Thank you. Bye. Gee. 
geese, Gunther. You don't look so good. Wasn't Leonard's note helpful? You forgot this one. There's still some in the... <laughs> What's this? I don't know. What is it? It's a ticket to the Screaming Patches concert. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's weird. I, I have one just like it. How did you get tickets? Why? Are they hard to get? Uh, they're practically impossible. Uh, I... Wow. So, um... It's September 12th. Yeah. You want to go? You mean, on a date? Only if you want to call it that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll go. Okay. Allison. Oh. I gotta go. Bye. Poor thing's crazy about me. Papers not on the front porch. These deadbeats don't bother looking. This is not coming out of my paycheck. Now that's cute. Oops. Hello? Leonard, is that you? No, my name is Gunther. I'm filling in for him. Oh, well, please, come in. I've just baked some delicious cookies. No, thanks. i got to get back to my route. Here are your papers. Well, Mr. Hansen said you can't do a good day's work on an empty stomach. Now, come in here and don't be so stubborn. Keep your eye on the ball. Oh. Well, ball game is on at this time. Oh. I tape all the games. <laughs> oh, but the players today, they're too busy counting their money and doing underwear commercials. You like baseball? Sure. Oh, well, yeah. They, my father used to take us to Ebbets Field, and I fell in love with the game. And when we moved here, oh, we went to all the double-A games, and that's where I met Mr. Hansen. I was just your age. Well, here's your papers. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gunther. I'm lost without my papers in the morning, especially since I can't get the daily lineups. Well, didn't you know they were out there? Well, my bones aren't as strong as they used to be. <laughs> Leonard is nice enough to drop them through the slot. Well, from now on, I'll bring them right to the door. Oh, that's sweet of you. Thank <laughs> you. 
sleep around here. Get on my bike and right away, and you can pretend you never saw me. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what is he doing? This is attempting to break the world pogo stick jumping record. According to his average jumps per minute, he only has to stay on for another... four hours and 33 minutes. Somebody refuel me! I need some water here! I need some water here! Money. Who do I give it to? Me. I pay you out of what you collect, then bring the rest to the main office. You keep your tips. <laughs> tips? <laughs> I didn't get any tips. I didn't want to say anything, Gunther, but... I've been getting some complaints. Papers late or torn. Wait a second. Are you telling me that people like Henry 
and Mr. Hippity Hop over here are making more money than I am? Two, three times that an hour. Guys, I'm losing momentum here. Quick, someone energize him. I'm sorry. That's what I'm gonna tell your parents when you don't come home tonight. No, no, no. Wait, fish, no, don't go yet. I want to know why I'm not getting tipped. Come Beast. 
ever shot me before. Congratulations. Permission to pass. Cool. Uh, say soldier, uh, what, uh, what regiment you with? Huh? The paper brigade. No, don't, don't be a stranger now. See ya. You can come on back. Payments, aren't we? There you go. Whoa. Woohoo! <laughs> One 
75. Oh, and, uh, here. Buy yourself some Tic Tacs on me. We don't want your money. Hey, shut up! Can't we just beat them up for the fun of it? Hey, pal. How was your skate? Great. Thanks for asking. Good. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Dad, before you say anything, I'm sure whatever happened, Andrew is the one who's responsible. Responsible for what? For whatever broke. <laughs> Nothing broke, Gunther. I, I just wanted to tell you how proud I am of you. I, I must have wax built up. It sounded like you said you were proud of me. I did. And I am. Wow. That's a first. You know, when you started that paper out, I didn't think you'd last the first day. I mean, let's face it, Gunther. You and work are kind of like oil and vinegar. You don't exactly mix. And delivering the paper five days a week, that's a big responsibility. Uh, Dad, it's really not that big a deal. <laughs> yes, it is. And you should be very proud of yourself. You're working hard, you're earning an honest pay. And for the first time in your life, you're actually going to finish something that you started. Dad, come on. You're going to get me all teary-eyed. Well, to prove to you how proud I am, I'm going to increase your allowance starting today. You are? You've earned it. No, Dad, I really don't think that's necessary. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, and by the way, Mrs. Hansen called to see how you're doing. Mrs. Hansen called you? She was just full of compliments, and she made sure to tell me how lucky I am to have a son like you. So, keep up the good work, son. This guy did 46,000 in one push-ups in 24 hours. Now that's impressive. Well, I can do 25. Great, Gus. You're only 45,976 short of the record. Then I guess I got something to shoot for. In your dreams. Born it. Hey, what are you guys doing here? You mean you didn't hear? Hear what? We're the new paper boys. What exactly are you talking about? Just think of us as your full-time subs. Every morning, here's where the papers are dropped off, and here's where we're going to pick them up. And if you go run into the paper about this, you'll make headline news in the obituaries. Well, what do you know? Here comes our inspiration. What's going on? They're taking over our routes. They're what? <laughs> That's right, squid lips. It's all because of you. Ever since you showed us what a lucrative business the paper industry could be, we decided to give it a whirl. I'll take that bag now. Don't give it to him, Gunther. Yeah, don't give it to him. Look, either you cooperate or we start cracking skulls. <laughs> oh! Hey, leave me alone. Back off. Let's have a look. I can't believe you let him take our route just like that. What did you expect? The guy was going to do a tap dance on my face. Cracks, he's gone. It's like taking candy from a
Mrs. Hanson? Mrs. Hanson, it's, it's Gunther. I have your papers. Oh, Gunther! Is everything all right? You haven't been by. Were you sick? No. You have a new paper boy now. Oh. I'm sorry if you haven't been getting your papers. But come in. I'm just pulling some cookies out of the oven. I should get going. I won't take no for an answer. I can't believe it. Wow, this is the very first issue of the Gazette. How did you get this? It's the very first page of the very first edition. I was married to its founder. Mr. Hansen started the Gazette? Well, the first paper rolled off the presses 32 years ago. You should have seen his face that day. He was so proud. <sighs> All he ever wanted was to have a paper of his own. It meant more to him than baseball did. <sighs> Our anniversary is coming up the 12th of September. And every year, I go to the stadium and I sit in the same seat I did the day I met Emerson. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to miss that this year. Why? Well, these fossils I've got, his bones just aren't strong enough any longer to make that trip alone. Thanks for the cookie. Uh, Gunther, if it isn't too much trouble, could you ask the new paper boy to drop it through the slot? Hmm? Tell him I'll have a cookie for him. Sure. No problem. Bye-bye. say we go get our routes back. Yeah! Yeah! Whoa, 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 hold it. How are we gonna do that? I, I've got a plan. Just put two bucks in this thing. 
guess we don't deliver today. If we don't deliver, we don't get paid. Chad, how are we going to deliver papers without a car? I'm not, I'm not getting, no. No way. I mean, this is so humiliating. Look, I, I swear, if anybody sees me, let's just get this over with. <laughs> Wiley, um, you take Oak, New Haven, and Pine. Luke, you handle Sunnycrest and Lilybrook. I'll take the rest. We'll meet up at Mapleson. Great. Base camp, this is Watchdog. Do you read me? Go ahead, Watchdog. Be ready on all posts. All right, here he comes. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah, keep coming. Showtime. Fire! Hey, knock it off. What are you doing? those little wimps. I'm gonna make them hurt so bad their whole family's gonna bleed. The nerd herd? Are you sure it was them? Hey, Chad! Get him! Oh, boy! I'm not going down there. Pick up the bikes, let's go! Get him! Let's wait. Let's go. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! You idiot! Why'd you stop? I'm not going in there. Why? Crazy old man Cooper's property, he's certifiable. Come on.
morning, boys! <laughs> nice toys. Hand over the saddlebags. Over my dead body. I'm really sorry you feel that way. Brigade ready! And fire! Tomorrow's a big night. Yep. I really appreciate you taking me to the concert. I guess what Gunther had to do was really important. Uh, um, well, uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Where did he go, Andrew? Ladies and gentlemen, Brink Stadium wishes to give a big welcome to longtime fan Ida Hansen celebrating a very special anniversary. Got there! Look, 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 look! Oh, did you do that? Oh, happy anniversary, Mrs. Hansen. Oh, and to think that after Emerson died, I thought there were no gentlemen left in this world. Oh. Thank you. 